Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Viral Jain and I'm an Amazon FB expert and I talk about entrepreneurship, business, productivity and much more. So if this is something that interests you, click on the red button below and subscribe my channel. Today's video is going to be about the five lessons that I have learned throughout my journey and these are the same five lessons that has made me who I am today and I'm sure this is going to help you professionally as well as personally in your journey too. So without further ado, let's get started. Lesson number one, your environment is more powerful than your willpower. Now I learned this from my mentor and let me give you an example to explain you the context. It, there's a saying that you are the average of the first five people that you spend the most amount of time with. Now, let's say if your income is around 1 lakh rupees per month and you want to reach 5 lakh rupees per month and you're hanging out with those people who have an income of the same level as you have or a little bit lower, what is going to happen is over a period of time, either you're going to make the same amount of money that you're making right now or it is going to be even worse. You're going to start dropping to 90,000 or 80,000. Because your willpower can only do certain things. Your environment is more powerful. But rather, let's say if you are hanging out with those people who are making 5 lakh rupees per month, or let's say even 10 lakh rupees per month, here's what's going to happen. You're going to feel intimidated. You're going to feel overwhelmed. And you cannot help, but you are going to help you push to raise your income level and reach to that 5 lakh rupees without even using your own willpower. Because your environment itself is going to support you to reach that level. Now, let me give you another example. Let's say you're not an alcoholic. And if you spend your most of the time with all your friends who are alcoholic, I bet you, you are going to turn into alcoholic very, very soon. Let's say you don't smoke any cigarettes or cigars. If you spend most of your time with those people who are smoking around, I'm sure that you're going to become a smoker very, very soon. This is how exactly it works. Now, let me give you a pro tip as well. You have to always be the dumbest person in the room. If you are the smartest person in the room, you got to run away because you cannot grow there. Okay, moving on. The second tip or the lesson that I've learned is that your school grades don't determine your destiny. You know, uh, back then in my school, I was an invisible kid. Nobody knew me. I was very shy, not even having a proper communication in English. And this was for years of time. In fact, I flung three times uh, in my school. And a lot of people told me, hey, Viral, you're not good in English, never do public speaking. You're not good in numbers or technical stuff, never go into that background. But here's what I've understood after a lot of years, that it is not about what others tell you. It's more about what you tell yourself and what you feed your brain. And if I see over the years, I have made a career in the most complex and more technical subject, which is almost completely opposite to my academic skills of you know, not being good with numbers. I'm teaching complex subjects like Amazon advertising. And I've understood it's not about complexity of the finance or numbers. It's more about understanding the logic. And with experience, uh, you know, things change dramatically. So here's what I've learned that you have to believe in yourself Feed the right thing. Don't listen to what other people are saying. And if you're truly passionate, over a period of time, you will develop a muscle, a brain muscle. And that's all matters. So your school grades don't matter. What people say don't matter. But what you feel about yourself, that matters. And that becomes your destiny. My next advice is going to be about having mentors and believing in them blindly. Now, you know, when I was starting out uh, with my business, I was doing... A lot of work I was not able to understand I was trying to figuring out figuring out and it took me so many months to even get started and then I made some costly mistakes that got me even few months back again and I was not able to actually go and get really good results for my own business and then I understood that I was making so many mistakes and I need some help I need a mentor who has been and done that same thing that I want to do so here's a piece of advice 
you should always have a mentor who has already been or done things that you already want to do now if you look at the most successful people in the world they all have coaches or mentors for example virat kohli do you don't think they don't have coaches or mentor sachin they also have a coach or a mentor every single person who is successful or is being successful they all have mentor because those are the people who have already walked the path they have made the mistakes that maybe we are we can avoid learning from them and one more important thing that i've learned that these mentors will not only help you not make the costly mistakes that they have made but they do one thing they buy you speed because what took them years to figure out what when they share to you you are cutting your year cycle to reach there and you can just reach there in months so one more pro tip that always have a mentor and believe him blindly become a coachable student that will help you take your business to the next level it has helped me grow from negative to positive then six figures and now i continue to learn to them with them to get to the next level my next advice to you is going to be around investment now if you're looking or thinking about it i'm going to tell you hey viral invest in cryptocurrency stocks bonds all these things no you are absolutely wrong always start with investing in yourself first and then talk about everything else now over the years what i have learned is that you will always get a thousand percent return on your investment when you invest in your self education rather than being dependent on how the market is going to perform or going with the tips that people you know throw around in the market now when i was struggling uh you know i did not take any programs or have any mentors and i had zero rupee invested in myself and i was not getting anywhere right just getting uh, you know i invest in shares and you know other other you know market places and literally there was like nothing that i could get out of the thing now once i decided to you know that like change my mindset and started investing in myself learning the skills because the skills pay your bills nothing else so i started you know getting mentorship i started taking programs online and things started changing every one rupee that i invested i used to get 100 rupee back in my profits i took many programs around amazon i took many programs around marketing i even took program for youtube and even talking to you guys or even running a coaching program so every time i you know invested anything in myself i got multiple times return so here's a pro tip guys always invest in yourself first and then maybe when you don't have anything left in investing yourself then maybe you go to other market places and invest for that part the last tip or the lesson that i've learned over the years is the more you grow successful the more your haters list will grow so over the years i have understood that when i was posting any videos or i was not posting any videos i had no youtube channel i was doing my business silently not coaching nothing i had barely anybody criticizing me or hating me the moment i started you know getting some success some traction training a lot of people i started getting haters the more success i got the more haters list i built up and here's what i learned from my mentors if you are not getting enough haters that means you are not doing something right because if you see anywhere let's see talk about celebrities why do people hate celebrities and not other people because these are the people who are talk of the down people who are actually visible who are in the minds of people now if you are not even there in front of people you have no marketing you are not even visible who is going to talk about you and one more thing the more successful you become more people feel jealous right and they have nothing to vent out so that is the reason why they start disliking your channel they start posting posting scam videos about you just to get attention because their videos or their things are not enough to give them attention they seek attention right and they cannot get it their own on their own rather they require your leverage to satisfy their own ego so always remember if you are not getting enough haters that means you are doing something wrong you are not visible you are not growing so in order to grow have some haters and that is going to help you understand if you are on the right track or the wrong track 
I hope you have understood all the lessons that I have learned and I'm sure it's going to help you in some way, shape or form. Now, if you are an Amazon seller and you want to join my more Amazon sales challenge, check the link below in the description and join the challenge if it makes sense to you. Or if you are someone who's already an Amazon seller and are looking to scale your brand rapidly and want to work with us in terms of managing your Amazon advertising, then click the link below and fill the form and our team is going to get in touch with you. This is Viral Jane signing off and I'll see you in the next video.